So today I'll talk about a P0327 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0327 code? Well, it's a NOx sensor one, circuit low input, bank one, or single sensor. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is seeing a problem with the NOx sensor, mainly inside of the circuit, so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And what is the NOx sensor? Well, the NOx sensor detects vibrations that come from a knock or irregularity in combustion and sends a signal to the engine control computer, which then adjusts the timing to correct the knock. So basically the cylinder need to fire at the correct time and if they're not firing at the correct time they'll send out a knock or a vibration and if the knock sensor detects this it sends a signal to the onboard computer which adjusts the timing until the knocking goes away and this helps keep the engine running the best it possibly can and so what are some possible causes of a p0327 code well it could be a bad knock sensor it could be in the wiring and possibly a bad ecm and so the first thing to do when you get this code is, is to go locate the knock sensors on your particular vehicle since there can be some differences there can even be multiple knock sensors and so it's always a good idea to go get a diagram of where the knock sensors are located for your particular year, engine, and manufacturer, since it just makes things easier. For example, here's a 2002 Honda Odyssey, and the knock sensor is located right at the front of the engine. Here's another example of a 2005 Chevy Silverado with the 5.3 liter engine, and the knock sensors are located underneath the intake manifold, so you have to take the intake manifold off, and it's located at the very top inside of here. You take these off, and there's some holes in there, and the knock sensors are located directly in here. There's two of them. But the first thing to go and do is to locate the knock sensor or sensors on your particular engine and then once you locate them the next thing you do is check out that wiring real good be sure there's no open shorts anything like this basically just be aware anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you want to check that out real good and be sure that there's no issues going on there if the wiring all looks good then very likely that sensor has failed you can't test it if you want to they're fairly easy to test if you have a multimeter you can check them for continuity and things like this there's some good youtube videos on how you go about testing a knock sensor but the next thing to do is to either test or or replace that knock sensor because very likely at this point it has just simply gone bad and just needs to be replaced if you do replace a knock sensor and the wiring all checks out and everything looks good then it is possible that the ecm is having an issue although this is fairly rare so if you do run into that problem i would go through and just really check all that wiring and double check that sensor and things like this but it is possible that the onboard computer has gone bad so that is something to keep in mind and so that's basically it i just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing a p0327 code if you have any to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day